Yeah, baby, yeah. We had a good long season. Did a lot of hunting. Spent a lot of time on dry leaves. Saw some deer in the tree stand. On the ground. Saw some small bucks. Some more deer on the ground. Got into a big buck in Canada. Needed lots of help getting him out. Saw some more deer on the ground. Did some sitting in the big woods. Did some hiking in the big woods. Had some fun. Had some more fun. Finally got some snow. Saw some moose. As well as some deer. But no big bucks. Had some more fun. And more fun. Hunted on different snow. And finally got into some action. Okay, so... Yesterday, I went out to a new area in uh, Massachusetts. We had got about six inches of snow. Got into that area and ended up uh, cutting a fresh track. And it took me up onto this uh, small Massachusetts mountain. And up there I got into a, a big buck track, but it was snowed in a little bit. So I made a loop around the top of the mountain. And uh, when I came around the other side, I had three fresh tracks including one big buck track. So I took the buck track uh, as well as a doe track down the mountain, uh, crossed a few roads, ended up jumping the buck, getting to see him. He had uh, you know, a nice spread, uh, about three or four inch tines. I think he was an eight pointer. And I ended up following the tracks onto some private land, making a loop around that and not seeing where they popped out. But I went back with the truck it was about two miles as the crow flies from the truck. Went back with the truck and saw where they crossed the road. So now it's uh, at 6.14. I'm gonna try to get an early start and see if we can make it happen today. So check back in. Okay, so I just picked up the track that I was on yesterday. We can see it's pretty snowy. Yeah. and it's still running, so I make up a little time, but as you can see, it's still just getting light, so I got all day. It's gonna happen today. Okay, the track I'm on, which is old. We know how old it is, about six o'clock last night. By the time I got to this location, just intersected another buck track. You can see there's a nice dagger there. Alright, here we can see where a buck fed in the snow, left some antler marks in the snow as he was eating. Put his head down uh, where he dug with his hoofs and, and start to eat. It's always a great sign when you see those antler marks. You know you got a nice buck, you can sometimes tell just how big he is based on his spread. Maybe even some tine marks. Here's some more sign. Time to go on. Here we can see where he bed down. Always good to see walking tracks going out of that bed. Nice buck up there. I just squeezed him off. Let's see.
Let's take a closer look. There's actually two deer you can see after I fire the shot. Here you can see on the right the buck that I shot, and on the left, running to the same spot, is the second buck. There's another buck right there. Hopefully the same one. When I shot him, I saw another buck take off running. This time I had the crosshairs on him good. Here I saw two does take off running, followed by that other buck that had jumped after I shot the buck I ended up getting. Oh boy, look at that guys. Yeah, baby, yeah. Beautiful buck. There he is. Beautiful buck. From the mountains of Massachusetts here. Tracked a nice buck yesterday. Looked almost about the same size. Jumped him, only saw him for a split second, so I didn't get a shot at him. Then I had the opportunity to cut a fresh track of a monster buck. I think I saw him run the other way. Um, I'm tickled pink to have this guy though. So um, got some work to do to get him out of here. I get some pictures and uh, wonderful day.